Hello YouTube and welcome to a new Tech Slons video. We continue with a brand new Honor 10 Lite smartphone and we will now do the setup. Uh, we will go through the setup process and then we will have a short look around. How good is the display, brightness, viewing angle, how much free storage do I still got on my 64GB version, which apps are pre-installed, what about the fingerprint sensor, camera and other things. So we start, we grab the SIM card tool that's inside the box. The SIM card tray is located on top of the device and now poke into the left hole, not in the hole in the middle. This is a microphone. You don't want to destroy your microphone. Pull it out. You see the dual SIM card slot here. You got the choose, or you got the choice between one SIM card and another nano SIM card or one nano SIM card and a micro SD card for more storage. Uh, grab your SIM card, chip down, uh, or corner right down here. Then slide it back into the device and then push the on and off button which is located on the right side of the device. Push it, push it until you feel a vibration and now, there we go, we see the Honor logo. And then we choose the language. I just choose English, United States is fine. Then I have to agree to the terms of use. Uh, you have to, you can't do anything else. Then you can get the choice to import data from another Android device, an iPhone or an iPad, with the Huawei Cloud or the Google Cloud. Um, this is, if you got a backup, now then choose it. Or if you got an older smartphone, then choose it. If you maybe switching from an Honor 10, uh, an Honor 9 Lite to the new 10 Lite, don't do it, the 9 Lite is still fine. Um, but I won't select one of those options here because I want to see how much free storage I got. So I don't import anything. The next step is uh, co uh, connect to your Wi-Fi. So select your Wi-Fi and enter your Wi-Fi password. If you don't got a Wi-Fi, you can skip this and then use your mobile data connection to set up the device. But I select my Wi-Fi, then hit next. Then enter your Google email address and the email address password. Then agree to the Google terms and conditions. Then activate or deactivate all the Google options you want to use. Then scroll down, hit accept. Do you want to use the voice match feature? Then hit agree. Oh, the device already knew my voice. Uh, if it does not yet know your voice because it's saved in the account, um, then you have to enter the activation commando. Uh, in the next step, Huawei is asking the same. They're asking, do you got a Huawei ID? Do you want to use the Huawei features? It's exactly the same as the Google features, but from Huawei, we know those things from LG, from Samsung and other manufacturers. I just say skip. Then I should get the warning that I can't use the cloud, but this is not the cloud. This is just the Huawei cloud service. So don't, don't fall for this. Yes, I want to skip it. Next step, data protection, set fingerprint ID. Yes, this is the one I want to do. So there we get an introduction. Then I need an, an, pass, uh, an unlock method in case my, some, my, I lost my finger, someone else has uh, to unlock my device. You don't have to enter the six digit pin here. You can choose change unlock method, then password pattern, custom pin or four digit pin. I just choose the four digit pin which is, you have to confirm it. Then uh, you find the fingerprint sensor on the back side of the device, place your finger on it, the device will vibrate, and then it will show you always the red area. This is the part that you have to put on the scanner. So now the lower part of my finger, now the side, the, the tip, um, again the tip, so just the tip, now the other side, now the button, and again the tip, Another times the site, just follow the instruction here and we are done. You can't um, scan another finger right now. We have to do this later in the settings. So fingerprint ID is set. Then I just select face uh, ID as well. Where it's just, this is not face ID like Apple or the Huawei Mate series here. No, this is just the standard Android face unlock with the front facing camera. I enable it, I agree with it. Now place your head inside circle. Held still, face not detected, face successfully, successfully enrolled, and we are done. Yes, enabled services. I don't want to join the user experience program. And last step, uh, get popular apps. So there's some apps that are already marked here. Then the device will install those apps. If you don't want those apps, and I don't want them, 
then just deselect them, uh, also the games, and that's it. So all you just hit later. And now we are in uh, our home screen. So nice. First step, let's find out how much free storage do we got before it's starting to update things. So settings, storage, and we see from our 64 gigabytes, we still got 10.57 gigabytes left. So uh, um, above 53 gigabytes are still available on the device, with, which is, I would say, it's okay. It's nothing really fancy, but it's okay. Which apps are pre-installed? Of course, the Google apps, also the Google Office apps, yes. Um, we got the Play Store, we got the, some Huawei apps, like an you know, own gallery app, music app, theme app, and a lot of other apps. A couple of tools, Compass, Flashlight, FM radio, Calculator, uh, Health app are already installed. We got an Honor app, we got top apps like <laughs> Amazon and eBay, I don't know, Facebook and Booking.com. But don't worry, you can deinstall them. So no problems here. So next step, let's check out um, the, the maximum brightness level here. Let's see, what about the screen? I got, ooh, bright screen. Nice, first impression here, really nice bright screen. So in terms of what I can say here in the first, first impression thing, um, this should be sufficient for, for your daily usage here. So we got Android 9 and Emotion UI 9 pre-installed. So we got the Google cards here, which are this is smooth. Yes, definitely a smooth animation. Um, I'm, I'm um, saying this because this was one of the weaknesses of the Huawei Emotion UI we got here. This was not okay. This is, should be fluent. Yes. So next step. What about the fingerprint scanner? Let's see. Oh, this took time. These were nearly two seconds, so this is not the fast Honor and Huawei fingerprint scanner we know. Oh, this is this is not bad, but I mean, this is definitely not fast, not at all. If you, I mean, this is sufficient. If you, the device is li lying on the table or it's in your pocket and you grab it, you place your finger, and in the moment you flip it or you pull it out of your pants. Um, you will see an activated screen. Yes, but this is definitely not a fast fingerprint scanner unlock process. What about my face? Let's see. Uh, swipe to open. Okay. Uh, I will do now show you one trick because now it's like on an iPhone where you have to swipe up after it's unlocked, but you can do this less secure but faster. Hit settings, security op and privacy options and there you see the face recognition. Enter your PIN pattern or passcode and now slide to unlock. And now select direct unlock. And now, if you just hit the button and look into the camera, it's the unlocking thing is. It's not. It's maybe a little bit faster than the fingerprint scanner here. Let's see. Uh, and. No, it's not really that faster. But you can, can use this too. Uh, now, in case you want to uh, save another of your fingers, then hit the fingerprint, uh, fingerprint management, again, enter your pin, and now you can hit, uh, add a new fingerprint. And exactly the same thing, just lift your fingers and follow the instructions uh, where you have to place it. No, don't deactivate the phone. Uh, okay, don't do this. Uh, if you hit the on-off button while saving your finger, uh, it's not saving your finger at all. So now just follow the instructions as mentioned and then we should be ready and good to go. Now the tap, the other side, 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 we are ready. Fingerprint 2. And now let's try to unlock it this way too. Oh, okay. It's the same. Not really fastness. And now what's missing? Oh, cameras are still missing. So I unlock the device, open up the camera app. And now we get a short tutorial how to switch camera modes. Okay, GPS tech, yes, please enable it because I want to see where I took my pictures. And now we're in the camera. Uh, let's see, resolution, 30 megapixel, that's fine. I activate the grid, I uh, mute it, yes please, and ooh, ultra snapshot, no, you don't want this. Just open the camera if, if you hit the volume down button twice, this is way more useful. 
I have to say, cameras, uh, picture quality, first impression, this is a little bit, whoo, a little bit really bright. Now, we got this AI feature, which is, in my opinion, on that price level or device level, nothing more than just the filter. Nothing really fancy with AI here. Nevertheless, they write AI camera on the backside. They are advertising with this, but but let me show you. So now we take this AI picture here, okay, which is sharpening the photo and trying to do some more nice things with it. Okay, again, now we hit a, go over to the gallery and here we got it. And the nice thing is that you, that you can deactivate the AI feature after it. So you now you can switch between the original and the AI feature and I can't see any difference here. This is maybe just a little bit more color, uh, colors, a little bit less, but no, not really here. But first impression of the pictures, decent, ah, okay, first impression, just the first impression. Now let's switch over to the 24 megapixel front-facing camera, which also got the AI feature. And I will now take an AI picture. Uh, I can choose mirror on or mirror off. Uh, I'd say mirror on. And now as a portrait thingy, I decrease the beauty level to zero. And what else can I do here? Um, no. Oh yeah, we got the bokeh effect here. So again, let's do one with the bokeh. And this is, should be now the really good pictures. I mean, this is what Honor here is advertising. And I have to say, ooh, not, no, but the bokeh picture here, you see it with my hair, the bokeh is not really good. Definitely not a good effect. But I have to say the picture is something, the picture quality, the whole picture. This is something, yes, why not? I definitely see here that maybe the front-facing camera um, will, be, will be doing the trick. So let's see, settings, full front recording is full HD and you no, know, 720p, what, what we can go up to full HD. And now let's just start a video recording with this while with me speaking into the camera. And now let's just check it out. You're recording with this while it was me speaking into the camera. Okay. You're recording with this while it was me speaking into the camera. Mm, I would just say standard, standard video recording quality. Let's check out the 30 megapixel main camera on the back side and I get a little bit closer to the camera so that I can just play around a little bit and that we can maybe also listening into oh I didn't change the video recording oh look at that they did it again why is the standard video recording just 720p on this device ah <sighs> honor why so let's do it again now we do it in a full hd video resolution and maybe this is not that bad because we can now see the difference i can definitely see some stuttering in the recording while recording the video in seven and uh, full hd now which there was no, well, no stuttering in 720p so this is 720p Okay, also definitely uh, nice audio recording here. No, no, no background noises. I give that on a 10 that. But the video recording uh, camera resolution or the quality in 720p was definitely not decent. Now the same in full HD. Now we do it in a full HD video resolution and maybe this is not that bad because we can now see the difference. I can definitely see some stuttering in the recording yes. while recording the video. It's Again, um, picture quality was better. The stuttering was still there. So it was not just the live recording. Um, but the audio quality again was decent as well. So first impression. Yes, of course. I fancy design. Definitely. I mean, this is a little bit more shiny, shiny, bling, bling than last year's device, like last year's on a nine light device. I get it. Um, it's bigger. We got a bigger screen. We got the drop knot thingy here. This is definitely something that looks good. Yes. But under the hood, I'm 
pretty sure this is just the same standard experience you get from, from last year's model. So don't give too much into that. And for a price of 250 euros, no, sorry, sorry. Yes, the first impression is good, but you don't buy this device for 250 euros if you get for the same amount an Honor Play with USB Type-C, with the Kirin 970, which is on a whole different level of, of performing. Uh, oh, one last thing. Do we got NFC? This was something um, I'm not sure about. Let's see. Do we got? Yes, we got NFC. So we get definitely an NFC model here, module. Um, but still, first impression, nice design. I don't like the edge feeling. I like the fe whole feeling a little bit better, maybe, than the P Smart. But I don't like the edge thingy here. So mm, this would be hard if I would have to choose one here. Um, but I still got some couple of days and weeks of testing ahead. But first impression, just another Honor standard Keyring 710 device, nothing special. I don't know why they are selling those devices. And definitely buy it for a price above 200 euros or even above 180. Definitely not. This is my first impression and my recommendation at that point here. This is it guys. Thank you for watching and I'll see you all in the next video. Bye.